Hi guys, we've just arrived in Porto. Jess and I are stood outside our hotel room. Um, I'm gonna, I haven't been in yet. I'm really excited to see it because the lobby is so cool, isn't it? Yep. It's a really cool boutique hotel. She can something is called. She can basic gravity. I don't think the room is going to be as amazing as the lobby, um, judging by the TripAdvisor photos, but let's see. Whoa. Oh, okay. actually. Okay. Let's check this out. Well, a bit of bright. Oh, wow. Oh. It's nice. Whoa, let me see. I'm gonna spin this around. Yeah. Um quite spacious for what it is. This is so weird, it's so cool. We literally left our bags outside. We travelled with just a little rucksack each. Um and we just a little rucksack each under seat carry on because it was our flight's like twenty two pound return, so we were like, we're not paying for any additional extras, we're only here for two nights. I love this reed glass. But this bathroom situation, can you show them? It's so weird. The sink is like massive yeah. and like in the middle. Um, yeah, this bit's a bit weird. I mean, you can, it. you can, can still you make, through? you can still make out someone's there. You like, go on, you go inside, and sit down in the toilet. Oh, Pretend you're doing a novel or something. <laughs> yeah, I think you can sit down. Yeah, oh, I can see. What well, blooming neck? That's a bit weird. Never don't want to come in on a first date, now do you? <laughs> so weird. Okay. Oh look, and they've got like... What's shoes. that? Oh, blooming, what's the shoe doing here? Oh, that's why it's called gravity something, isn't it? Oh, okay, it's a bit blurry now, sorry. So yeah, I don't really know how I feel about the toilet and like being visible while you're sat on the toilet. I mean, it's a good thing we've been married for a million years, Jas, but if you're like on a first date or like with yeah. a new boyfriend, that's just so yeah. weird. <laughs> um, Anyway, oh, they've left us little lollipops. There's one on each side. Hey, so look, on each side as well, actually. We're staying in a hotel called Chic and Basic Gravity. It's a four-star boutique hotel. I really like it. It's in an area near the old town. I'm not going to try and pronounce it. I think it's pronounced by her, but it's B-A-I-X-A. -I, -I. I could be completely wrong. No one's said it to me yet for me to know. Um... So like I said, we're literally just here for the two nights. We um, wanted a really cheap getaway in January, beat the January blues and all that. And we were looking at flights and we did find some for like 50 quid. And I was like, no, I want to get them cheaper. We literally paid 22 pound return for our flights. It was terrible. It was easy jet. The most uncomfortable seat I've ever had on a flight. In fact, my back kind of hurts. Didn't it feel like you're sat on a metal bench, Jas? Yeah. That's, that's what yeah, it felt like to me. They're like really hard, the seats, and I fell asleep for a little bit and I was like, oh, my neck. But you know what, 22 pound return, I'm really not complaining. But yeah, we're gonna just freshen up and um, go out for a wander, I think. Okay, just just wanted me to show you this safe. It's really cool, I'll show you them. Hold on, we flip it. Yeah, like so, obviously that's, you lift it up like this and that's where you put your stuff, right? Yeah. And I thought, okay, and it says, put enter your digits. And I thought, where do you put them, right? But then there's this you know, this little button here that says press enter. Oops. Yeah, and these got uh, these light up, so it's a very like swish hotel. But yeah. Four zeros. Oh that's really clever, Jess. Nobody See? would ever guess that. Okay, so we also have a little Juliet balcony. And it is so nice and warm here. I wasn't expecting it to be this warm. Oh, okay, I'm being blinded. And there's like live music that you can hear. Um we thought it would be like a little bit warmer than home, but I still bought my down coat, which is going to be far too warm, and just t-shirts. I didn't bring a jumper. There are some really cool views, like that way, um, of like a windy street, but because of backlight, it's just not going to work right now. So I'll try and show you at some point tomorrow. We were going to head out for some lunch, because it is now quarter to four. <laughs> But our flight was at 11 a.m. and we had lounge access at Luton Airport, so we had breakfast there. Um, so we haven't eaten since like 9, 9 a.m. Um, so it's now 4 p.m. But we've just been told that they have snacks in the hotel lobby between 4 and 6. He said croissants, bread, tea, coffee. So we're just going to go check it out um, and see what there is. If it's not great, then we'll head to a restaurant and then go for a wonder. We've just come across this little market on a very pretty roundabout, I have to say. And we've got some really cool vintage clothing. Oh, these are so nice. This is so cool. 
oh, I love how rustic these olives are in like old water bottles. I really, really like this lamp. It's oak. So nice. And so this market is only on on a Saturday actually, so we got lucky. It's called the Mercado Portobello. I pronounced that completely wrong. Right, our first stop is the Livraria Lello, which I think I can see. It's the most beautiful bookstore in the world and apparently what inspired JK Rowling for bits of Harry Potter. I don't watch Harry Potter. I've seen photos of this place and it's stunning, but the queues are always insane. So we actually bought our tickets online um, at the hotel, which everyone advises that you do anyway. It doesn't look as bad actually, the queue. Do you want to find out? I'll show you the outside. This place is busy, but it is so so stunning. It's really hard to get a photo because everyone's kind of got the same idea obviously. But the staircase is very grand. I'll just come upstairs and look at the stained glass window at the top. It's incredible. They have all the classics. I think that's the Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, I'm assuming. Romeo and Juliet in Portuguese. I think it's Portuguese anyway. I found the English section, so look. There's Peter Pan, Frankenstein, Tale of Two Cities, A Midsummer Night's Dream. We've got loads. Oh, Little Women, Dracula. The Jungle Book? Oh my god, I don't think I've ever read that actually. We have just hired a scooter for the first time ever, just trying to figure out what we're doing on the Bolt app. What happened? No, it said it's got 4.3 kilometres left. We had a few teething issues with this, we've changed to a different scooter. Does that mean I've got to walk up a hill? Because we're just using it for the first time so we have no idea what we're doing. I'll pedal it for a bit. Okay. Let me go up hill first. Go downhill. Not because we're going to crash. Okay. Go uphill then. <laughs> it doesn't really work uphill, does it? That lasted all of three minutes because huh. the scooter kind of had issues slash just had issues. No, it's really wobbly on the edge. <laughs> you have to push it uphill to and get some momentum. look at how hilly it is here. Yeah. Like, the road kind of goes up and then down and up and down. Um, so yeah, maybe another time. Now in a restaurant and about to have dinner. I was gonna vlog earlier and I couldn't get my camera out in time because so many customers. This restaurant just was like hurry up. We literally got the last table two and there's a massive queue of people outside and they've all been told it's over an hour's wait. It's insane. Anyway, we've just got our food and um, just got started and it looks incredible. I'll show you. We have tofu nuggets and a chilli sauce. I swapped the barbecue sauce for chilli because I don't like barbecue sauce. Then we've got these vegan shrimp tacos which Jess is trying to do what I can only assume is a boomerang <laughs> of. And I've got some sparkling water, he's got some lemonade. We're in a vegan restaurant by the way called Kind Kitchen and the menu looks so great. They didn't have a lot of things on the menu that I would have ordinarily chosen which is a bit of a shame. So here are our mains that we're sharing. The hummus and mushroom on sourdough, open face sandwich and I got the chickpea tuna melt I don't know it's basically got tomato chickpea tuna I don't know it's good right we're having half each this is just some of the queue from kind kitchen where we've just had dinner there's another restaurant here that's also got a really long queue I thought this is probably the norm there's also about 10 people waiting inside as well for a table it is such a tiny little place it was so good. We went to a place called Kind Kitchen, which I researched before on Happy K, 
out. It's a vegan restaurant, tiny, and it was so busy. It was really, really good food, but it didn't blow me away, apart from the shrimp tacos. Yeah, they were the nicest. They were the nicest. The tofu nuggets were just yeah, fine. Yeah, they were bland. If I never had them again in my lifetime, I wouldn't miss them, basically, right? Yeah, I didn't like them. I mean, they're okay. They're all the right, they're fine. There's lots of tofu well. and batter. Um, the sandwiches we had were nice, but it is basically what I make for lunch at home, isn't it? Yep, I actually like that. That one I liked. It was really good. It was excellent. The food was really, really good. So busy, so popular. I can totally see why. It's so affordable as well. I think I knew this because it had like one pound sign, you know, or euro sign or whatever on the thing. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy that we uh, found good food like after our last trip that was awful. Yeah. Anyway, we're stood outside our hotel contemplating getting a drink this is the bar i was talking to my friend's cousin recently um, about italy and how i love that everyone just stands outside the bar the bar is not a place where you go inside of to drink it's just tiny just a place where you go and order and everyone sits and stands outside there's a few tables but they're obviously all taken and in the daytime there was a woman just sat here like in the sun reading her book and sipping wine and i was like we don't get that in london like i would love to just get a glass of wine even though i'm not big on wine and just just get a glass of wine and read a book outside a bar it's so cool so that's basically the bar behind the tree and look at how many people just outside on the streets and across the road as well more there as well I just love this vibe it's really really cool good morning happy sunday we've just checked in for our flights home tomorrow <laughs> um on wizz air and we are we've been up early this morning but i don't think anything opens till nine it's almost 9 a.m so we're gonna head out for a coffee and some breakfast then try and get on a river cruise down the duro river i'm probably butchering every pronunciation oh i've got the balcony door open and it is cold let me try and show you the view actually hold on when i say balcony it's literally just this it's the juliet balcony this is the view from our hotel. I thought this view down there was stunning yesterday, but I think it's because it was just really sunny and it looked really pretty. It's not anything special. Oh, this room's got a proper balcony. What? Anyway, this is the tiny little road that we're on. And I think we found a breakfast place just a few doors down on the right hand side. So I have a tofu bagel with mushrooms and avocado cream, a flat white with oat milk, and what did you get? I went for mushrooms and scrambled egg spinach, I think. Yeah, we're at a place called the Lazy Breakfast Club. It looks so good. I was trying to avoid bread, but um, yeah, wasn't very successful at it. <laughs> had a very filling breakfast i was trying to avoid bread but i just said that was possible in um well europe really but now we are stopped at crossroads by the oldest cafe in town i can't see over my head we're trying to find the river um and hopefully get on a cruise because then we have to be back at the hotel for two o'clock we have a tuk-tuk tour taking us to a wine tasting which is very exciting it's not too cold, it is quite windy and a little bit chilly, but it's not unbearably so, so it's been quite nice. This building is so pretty. It's a steak and, what's it called? Steak and shake? Yeah. Hmm. Look at this little pigeon having a drink. We've just walked past the University of Porto. I think the tram goes through like these gardens, which is pretty cool. They probably look really stunning in summer. And now, off in this direction these toilets or something this way yeah yep this is one of the better hills that we're walking down oh do you know what i love that everyone just dries their laundry outside it reminds me of italy we are finally headed this way this journey's taken us quite a long time because there have been a lot of hills going up and down to challenge the way back will be so much more difficult After about 30 minutes of walking downhill, you probably can't even see because of the backlight. This view is stunning. Well, that was easy to spot. We found the ticket office. We've just purchased our uh, Six Bridges River Cruise 
um, ticket for 18 euro per person. They go, the boat goes that way for five bridges, does the U-turn I assume, and then goes towards the sea and then comes back. It's really hard to see on camera, but because of the lighting, but it's stunning around here. It's obviously very tourist central. We have just walked from way over there in that direction. <laughs> This is the boat we're about to jump on. We're quite close to the front of the queue, which is not a bad thing, because I'm hoping to get a good view from the outside part, not inside. We're on a boat. <laughs> we had to like walk across a different boat to get onto this one, but we chose to sit on a bench. Hopefully we won't regret it, because the bench is on the sides of the um, boat. So hopefully there's not like loads to see on this side. Hopefully it's the other side. The river cruise was really nice actually. It was um, not too busy, like not too many people on the boat. We got like good seats, a good view. The bridges are like not the main selling point of the cruise. Like they're nothing special apart from maybe two of them. But the views are stunning and we've been so lucky with the weather. Like it's actually so much warmer than it is at home. It's like 13, 12 to 14 degrees at the moment. Yes, it was really warm, it was 16 degrees. Um, but it's been so nice and now we're just sat. Hello. Can we order um, one super box? Can I get a sparkling water with, sparkling water? with lime? Uh, yeah, that's fine. And no ice, please. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> um, so we're just having a drink um, in like a restaurant. They don't do oat milk here, but that's fine. I don't really need a coffee. I'm happy just to get a cold drink. Here's, so here's where we are. This place is so nice. It's just so lovely to sit outside, isn't it, Jas? Nice, like yeah. it's not warm, but it's much warmer than Actually, at home. Sit away, we? Yeah, do you want to sit next to me you so you get a nice view? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, just I'm do that. Look at you for. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> got an Uber back to our hotel we've got an hour exactly till we're being picked up by a tuk-tuk um so we don't really have time for lunch so we grabbed a packet of lays i don't know there's any original or this this looks like tomato and onion flavor a couple of bananas and a bottle of water um we're gonna have a quick bite to eat and then the next part of my vlog is going to be a press visit we're going to the sandy men port wine cellars for a tour their tour in english starts at 4 p.m and it's two hours we get to do some wine tasting and it will be great so we need to line our stomachs with basically crisps and a banana before we leave <laughs> Most of our churches are a bit of a romantic influence. Okay. Even though they don't have the romantic So we've crossed over from Porto to Gaia, another city, across the river. That's Porto behind me. I can't really see what you can see. The sun's blinding me. Um, but we are here at the Sandy Man. We're about 25 minutes early for our wine tasting. We had a tuk-tuk tour on the way here and the guy was really friendly. Really, I mean, everyone in Portugal, to be fair, is super friendly and super nice. And he gave us a lot of information on the history of the two cities and I don't really like each other. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go do our wine tasting in a bit and then he's gonna pick us up in two and a half hours. So actually, we were just on our river cruise on this river, the Six Bridges Giro River Cruise, whatever it's called. But this is a much better view, I would say. Just just cross the river, guys, unless you particularly wanna go on a boat. It's stunning, isn't it? This, guys, is where we are headed. It's massive, isn't it? Once you open it, it's a shock, and you need to enjoy it at its fullest, right? Yes, I'm not hesitant. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the logo of Sandeman since 1930. So 18,000, 19,000 liters. The same as 34, 35 
casks. In the beginning, port wine was exported in the casks. That's why we have the floors like this, the port, so that they could roll the casks up and down the cellar without damaging them, alongside with um, dirt, the wood and dirt, of course. You also have fresh water so that you can drink. We've had the tour, and now we're actually tasting some wine. Oh, so we just had, like, most of that one. It's all port wine. Um, it's vintage port. I just think I've lost the ability to talk. It's really interesting, but... Because I'm actually... Pissed. Must have. Easiest word to say. I mean, yeah, I kind of am. I don't know what's wrong with me. What's she wrong with me? We went wine tasting or port wine tasting. Yeah, we had five. On your first glass, you was gone. I was so <laughs> weak. People are like. Actually, you can't even hold the balloon. What's a little kid? I can't film a little kid. Okay, hold on. Oh, move this way. Oh, he's so cute. A little kid and a little. Nish, can you even hold the Matt. camera straight? I don't yeah, think you can. It's straight. It's not I'm on really your drunk. face. I spent here buying a bracelet. Um, hold on. We've got like 20 minutes till the van comes. This, you want to straighten your face? That's Sorry. It. Yeah. <laughs> Hold it straight. I'm, I'm holding the game camera for here. Yes. Um, <laughs> okay. I need to say, bro. I need some. Have you got a bottle of water in your? Uh, in yes, your, I have um, actually. Handbag? Yes. Okay, bye. Handbag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bye. So these are the bracelets I came back for. Sorry. That's the one I was. Thank you. That's the one I was looking at. What did you buy, Jas? You bought this one. That one. Yeah. yeah I like I this one. Can you tap it so it focuses? What's your um, business called? Sorry? Oh, sorry, I've just found the, the card. Uh, the These name, are really uh, cool. Your name, a business name, Naga, Nagalo. Uh, Nagalo, yeah. Nagalo's name, yeah. Nagalo, yeah. Ah, I really like these, but I think I'm not really safe enough. Our friends are in Dubai and they're trying to FaceTime us. I think while I am. Maybe when, when our reception is better, I think. Um, we're, we're currently in a drop shop at the moment. Here so. we are, heading back to the hotel. I think our quite bad. Quite a fancy restaurant. I didn't realise quite how fancy it was. Although it did have two pound signs. Um, it's called Terra Baixa. B A I X A. The name of the area that we're staying in. Um, it's it's called a vegetarian buffet, but the woman said it's vegan. So I, I don't know. Anyway, um, no one's making a beeline for the food yet. We had a reservation here. Luckily, uh, we went like half an hour earlier, so it's fine. I've got to try that civilized. I arrived, I had to go to pee, and I think I actually used the men's toilets because the toilet seat was up, even though it said female, so I'm really confused. Um, getting quite hungry now, though, and um, yeah. Guys, I completely forgot to vlog my first plate, and I'm absolutely stuffed, but these are the bits I didn't get to try the first time around, so. We don't know what anything is because nothing here is in English, but I just asked and that's pumpkin and sweet potato soup. I just got like one small ladle full just to try. And the battered cauliflower is really great. I have absolutely no idea what any of this is apart from possibly aubergine parmigiana and a raw courgette. No idea. Okay, we're having our very first pastel donata and it is a vegan one. They serve it with cinnamon. I've never had it with cinnamon. Like, I think you just sprinkle it over. We're just sharing one because we are full, right? Yes, I'm really full. <laughs> Good morning, happy Monday. It is our last day in Porto today. We've got a really late flight, which is so nice. Our flight is at, is it 10, 50, no, 9.50 p.m. or something crazy like that. So we've just had a lion this morning. It's about 10 a.m. And we have a really late checkout till 2 p.m., which is so nice. We are heading to... <laughs> I can't Pasta. pronounce anything. Pa Confeteria de do. I got a clue what it is. But all I know is they. I had, anyway, it's a hundred. It's not a pasty. No. Pastel de nata. It's a 120 year old bakery and they're meant to be some of the best pastel de nata in Porto. So. <laughs> so we're heading there. Um, and. It's kind of going to be our breakfast because I have such a long list of food places that I want to try and we're just not here for long enough. 
look at how nice this um, lift is. We're going to another vegetarian or vegan restaurant for lunch slash early dinner, um, which is literally a four minute walk from the hotel, but first we're gonna go to this place. By the way, when stuff says 10 minute walk in Porto, just, it's like 40 minutes, okay? The hills are insane here. Good exercise here. Yeah. It is. See what I mean? This hill isn't so bad, and it's obviously totally fine when you're going down the hill, but going back up, is a bitch. Okay, so we found the market, and here is the uh, place for the pastel donata. Oh. What do you think? She don't like smoothies, do you really? So. Okay. No, don't worry. I'll, I'll try it in a minute myself. Look at these gigantic tomatoes. So these are freshly squeezed and made today. They sell everything here from meats to flowers, cheeses, artisan olive oil, like tourist tat. Oh, alcohol, port, I'm assuming. Um, loads of like cool like potpourri and like flower arrangements. Um, and obviously all the fresh fruit and veg. We obviously only have hand luggage, so we can't really take much back. But, but we are considering getting some Portuguese piri piri sauce. I don't know what this fruit is. These are custard apples, I want to say. Rambutan. I don't know what this is. Melano. That's mangosteen. I've never tried that, actually. I'm going to see if they can cut some up for me. This is Figo India. I don't know. Papaya. They've got Fasalis back there. Strawberries here look amazing. I'm definitely going to buy some. Lime caviar. Does she have enough strawberries? How much I would eat if I was there. She got two bags this lady. Right, I don't know what these fruits are, so if you know, just let me know in the comments below. But they've cut them before me. Oh, this is passion fruit. Is it? This one. Is it? I don't know. Whoa. Why oh, you give me a spoon as well? Yeah. Although, oh, gooey. What does it taste like? Passion fruit or something else? It's a really sweet passion fruit. Oh really? Huh. Mm. Mm. Really good. I love that. Okay. Hmm. Nice little lid on it. <laughs> Zoom into it. All right. Can I say something? Really? I don't know. I've got mushroom cream flavor on that. Maybe that's. Uh... It's a bit hard. in Costco but they're so expensive I don't want to buy a whole box so I assume you just eat oh my god grim okay hold on oh god what okay ready what's it sweet as in Not over sour sweet. or sweet or so nice. Oh my god, I'm buying the books from Costco. Like £20 a box in this gym, don't they? Just don't 
Is it? Yep. It's alright. So we've just ordered two pastel de nata. Here we go. It looks so good. And I think we're going to grab a table. Here we have it, two pastiche donata. I think the plural is pastiche, and then if you're talking about one, it's pastel donata. These look so good. Yeah, Excited. Freshly made. Let's try this on camera. Nice, isn't it? <laughs> Mm. Way better than last night's one. This is so good. Quite a messy thing to eat. It's a lot fuller, there's more custard. It is, yeah. Last night's one was quite flat. And I was saying to Jess, I think I've actually had two nicer ones in London. Like they've been more memorable than last night's one. Maybe because it was vegan. This is insanely good. Look at this. And this is where we just had our pastel de nata. I'm not going to try and pronounce it, but it's a 120 year old bakery and they were the best pastel de nata and the cheapest we've had here. It's 2 p.m. and we're just checking out of our hotel. We've just been chilling here for about 45 minutes, eating strawberries in bed. The strawberries were glorious, might I add. But I'm going to miss this room. It was such a pleasant stay, wasn't it? It was so nice, so clean, perfect location. The service was great, loved everything about mm. it. But we're going to hang out in the hotel lobby key, for a bit. Key. Because, oh. Yeah, let me get it. Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got really confused. We're going to go and hang out in the hotel lobby for a little bit. Maybe just read our book, just chill, because we've been out all morning, as you will have seen. And um, we're not hungry for lunch yet. We, we thought we'd just... Um, hang out in the lobby before we go for lunch. Here's a different lift to the one I showed you last time, right? These lifts are so nice, I love this wallpaper. We've been blessed with such good weather here in Porto. I was checking the weather forecast for the last like week or so and it's been chucking it down. There's been so many floods and even though it's like not warm, of course, it's been like so much nicer than it is at home at the moment. It was snowing in the UK literally last week in some parts of the UK. Anyway, it's now exactly three o'clock. We sat in the lobby for about an hour just reading. Oh, I just love a chilled little holiday. I've read 40% of my book, by the way, according to Goodreads, and I only started on the plane on the way here, which is pretty good. But now we're walking uphill to go out for some lunch. Just like that, we are here. What's it called? Espessi? I don't know. So here we have the KFC, Korean fried cauliflower, which looks insane, doesn't mm, it, Jess? It does. This is called avocado chile. Um, he said it's like a salad, but it's served with nachos. We've got one more dish coming up. Oh my God, Beijing style mushrooms with a date hoisin sauce and pancakes, I assume. Yep. Oh my God, these look so good. Wow. wow. I've just tried the cauliflower. It is insane. Insane. Okay, so I have no idea what's inside here. We just kind of ordered it. Um, yeah. Oh, it's a whole avocado. Wow. What? Yeah. It's literally half an avocado. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, let me hold the camera properly. Oh, should I help myself? Then you can help yourself. Yeah, do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. You put the camera Give down. Camera down. So we've just come to the stunning Sao Bento railway station, which is a must-see, I would say. Like, look at how stunning the uh, tiles on the walls here are. It's so beautiful. Obviously, it is just a normal railway station, but a very, very pretty one. And it looks even more beautiful with the sunlight coming in, especially on the yellow ceiling. So nice. The hills are killing us. So we're trying to walk back. Was he filming me? I don't think really this is helping much. Anyway, oh, there's a view. Stunning. We are heading to the Don Dot the bridge with the views. Oh my god, I actually love these slippers. They're so cool. Oh. <laughs> Imagine taking these on a flight. Cool, they are. 
Anyway, we're finally walking downhill, so Nishi is a happy bunny. And I can see the bridge there. So we made it to the bridge. Jas lost me. He walked the wrong way. It's a shame because from here, where we are, you get a really nice view of Gaia, but because of backlight and the sun, I can't really photograph it very well, and I don't know how to edit photos. I'm not very good at that. In fact, I just don't know how to do it. So we're going to walk across to Gaia and try and take a photo of Porto. So this bridge um, has the metro line and space for people to walk on either side. It's quite funny because the trains are so close to you. And this is stunning Porto from this side. We spent far too long here taking selfies, didn't we, Jess? Yes. Somebody needs a new profile picture from work and we had a full on photo shoot. I'm an excellent photographer, can I just say? Ah, oh, I don't want to leave Porto, Jess. I'm pleasantly surprised. I've loved this trip. and so is our time here i'm going to end this video here because we've got about an hour to walk back to the hotel grab a coffee and get an uber to the airport we're flying home in about four or five hours um but i really hope you enjoyed watching this video i have so many blog posts that i've drafted on my phone so keep an eye out for those on my blog i'll link them down below in the description box but thank you so much for watching and i will see you on our next weekend away i guess bye